Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Help! We're trapped outside of Japan without jobs, without money, without communication from the Japanese government. <laughs> but we are taking all that and trying to make lemonade by rewatching Iku's old travel videos to reminisce about Japan and tell untold stories and try and lift our moods. So welcome back. Today's episode Episodo, episodo, is it episodo? Eight of uh, the 2017 trip for the first time I went to Japan by myself. I'm being a little um, distracted by my cat who had graciously left me his spot to film but who is now reclaiming it. <laughs> As I was saying, we're watching episode eight which is called Solo Trip to Japan, the most beautiful garden. Japanese 2017 and that is the last episode where I am in Tokyo for the first time after that I'll be moving on to Osaka very excited about that I have many memories of arriving to Osaka for the first time but I'm definitely getting ahead of myself uh, what do I remember from this episode the most beautiful garden um, I'm pretty sure the most beautiful garden is the Imperial Palace Gardens. I don't remember if I did that for the entire day, but I do remember some of it. So we'll see that together and see what comes back to mind. Uh, as you guys, uh, I should have mentioned that at the very beginning, education is not tourism is the hashtag and the website that is mostly used to try and get the borders to reopen as soon as possible, as soon as the Paralympics are over, I think on the 5th of September, we're hoping for some news, for some good news from the government that we're going to be able to get into the country as international students. I keep forgetting to uh, emphasize international students and not uh, tourists. International students, spouses, res residents, workers, I think some of these have already been able to get back into Japan. but. Myself, as an international student, I have been waiting for almost a year and a half to enter now. I had a visa, I had all my documents in order, but now I am stuck and sadly there is no communication, which means that I've been, and we have been in limbo, which is not right, it's not okay. So at the beginning of each video, I'm re repeating the same speech about this, but that's how important it is. This is my last chance, if it doesn't happen by October, I'm going to have to uh, close that and put it, you know, like just shelf it and uh, maybe revisit it later or not. I don't know, but I'm not going to get emotional like I did on the last video. We're just going to breeze past it and jump into the episode. I do want to say that I have, I know I have like this really ugly pimple right there. Um, yeah, I've had it since yesterday and it's not gone away. So there's nothing we can do. We're just going to watch this episode and sadly it's on the wrong side of my face so that's just what you're going to be so that's what you guys are going to be seeing unfortunately for me so enough rambling let's oh gosh why every time oh <laughs> let's get started good morning everybody i was just at tsukiji tsukiji fish market where unfortunately you're not Okay, starting with Tsukiji. Kept for the last day. So now I'm gonna go to the streets surrounding the Tsukiji market area because there are a lot of little shops selling goodies and shoes. Oh, and shoes. What am I thinking about <laughs> shoes? Goodies and food and random stuff. And then maybe my feet were wet. There's the Imperial Palace, which will probably be my last visit for Tokyo. Because today's my last day and I stopped plan my trip for tomorrow and do random stuff, so yeah, today, today's gonna be a short day. <laughs> okay, Tsuki, Tsukiji Fish Market isn't there anymore, which is kind of sad, because uh, I feel like I kind of breezed through it on this episode. Things that are coming back to me after visiting like the main... Oh, I don't know what to call it, like the more professional area which was like very sloshy and wet and fishy and like carts zooming by. I, I visited the outdoor market, I had some sashimi in this covered area. Um, I remember that I was sitting alone at a, 
there were loads of people and tables and people just sampling food and eating their little bentos like me that they had bought in, in the fish market but I was alone at the table a small table I think, I don't remember I don't even remember if it was sitting or standing for some reason but I remember that I was alone at the table and probably because I'm a foreign girl maybe people didn't dare approach me or ask if they could sit at my table uh, until like I saw, I think it was a man and his wife just scanning the area and I was just like, come on, just sit with me, I'm not gonna bite ya and then obviously I went back to the outside area with my strawberry umbrella to get a strawberry daifuku I think that's all I ate from the market oh it's a matcha strawberry daifuku drooling there we go wow, I am clumsy today <laughs> okay, I don't know where I'm gonna move to, I think if I continue this, in this direction, I'll find the station that I've been saying I was, I've been going to for the last like hour or so. I quite like this area. It's a nice little place to walk, even outside the market. So now I think I'm going to the Imperial Palace. But she really wants a spot back. <laughs> oh yeah, the tiny escalator that made no sense to me. <laughs> it's like 10 steps or something. <laughs> Obviously, if your mobility is impaired, it's useful. But I did find it funny. It's so short. No, you're exit! Imperial Palace! Yep. This is quite a different area from what I've seen so far. Much calmer, more classical. Even the people are dressed differently. Yeah, they seem to have darker suits, darker colors, uh, more business attire. That's what I'd say anyway. Behind me, I believe this is the Imperial Palace. Uh, I'm in the Nihonbashi area and this is Otemachi stop. I think that's where I came off the Chiyoda line. And uh, I was talking to one of the people in the hostel this morning and he said that this is an area where a lot of people come to jog around here and definitely I think I've seen oh, four so people jog by head. already and it's pouring with rain still. Nothing new here. Oh, like every take that back. Another two. <laughs> A few things that I remember, obviously I'm going to be in the garden for quite a little bit after this. A little funny slash embarrassing story from when I bought the tickets to enter the gardens <laughs> is that afterwards, you know, I bought the ticket and then I headed off in completely the wrong direction and I had like the, the guard ticket salesperson shouting after me. Um, but something that I've noticed that happens a lot is that instead of saying, uh, excuse me, miss or missus or ma'am, um, they say lady, which just sounds a little abrupt to me to have someone shouting after you like, Hey lady, lady! <laughs> so she was, so he was shouting, hey lady, after me and then saying like, that way and I just felt really silly. But um, yeah, it happened more than once that I've been called a hey lady. was friggin huge and I think at one point I couldn't find the exit I just kept going around in the same loop that's what I remember could be wrong but it was really pretty it was a really stunning garden at the top the very top there's a cute little bench here unfortunately soaked Now at the top. <laughs> Don't think I should be doing that. Let's get down. <laughs> I love this garden! And it's barely raining now. It's like droplets here and there. It's so gorgeous, guys. Even in the dead of autumn, 
close to winter, it's so beautiful. Maybe I should uh, sing something. Oh, to the world! It's like I came here just about the wrong month. Like, this is June. This is April and May and this is November and December where everything turns red. Aww. Well, so I'm gonna be close to November uh, when I'm around Hiroshima so maybe I can see some of the red leaves. Hope so. Right now everything's still pretty green. I wanna see some red. <laughs> I don't know why I really liked this random piece of architecture <laughs> with a tree on top <gasps> my bro umbrella is away I have a free hand finally <laughs> oh wah, 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 wah. I have no clue where I've been where I've not been hmm oh battery light is flashing darn it Oh, am I leaving? Now we made it to Nihonbashi. I actually like this area quite a lot. It's very mature. <laughs> I think it's just because there's less people that I'm enjoying it more, and also that because it's not raining. Maybe if I went back, because I went back to Nihonbashi and Marunochi and. I didn't... I wasn't inspired for some reason. Or maybe I'm just happy for a change. I don't know. Practically dead. Because I want to show you Nihonbashi Bridge that I'm about to cross under. Yep. It was pretty impressive. Bridge. <laughs> get all the snacks from? Okay, there's a huge chunk um, that's missing apparently because <laughs> I don't remember where I got all the snacks from. I, there's a... what is it called? Like a steamed bun? Is it a nikuman? I think it's a nikuman. I do remember getting my first nikuman at a kombini, I think. So maybe I got all the snacks from a kombini but they were like different. Where did I get the snacks? Oh no, I don't remember. But if I didn't f film it, oh no. I was gonna say, maybe I didn't film it because it wasn't that interesting, but I do mention my camera battery light flashing, so maybe I was just simply out of battery. This is why I film everything, so I can remember everything. It's so useful. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really like that episode, except that I wish I would have s filmed more. I wanted to see more. Which makes me want to go to Japan even more. If you could believe that, if there is even possible to want to go more than I already do want to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a shame that Tsukiji Fish Market has moved. I don't, I don't remember what has been said about it. If it's a better place or less fun or um, just not the same. Because I mean, Tsukiji Fish Market was, it was like. A thing. It was its own thing. There was like the professional area and the outdoor area and all the stalls and all the food and it was this whole thing that you had to go see at least once. And then the Imperial Palace which was just stunning. I wish I would have seen more. I guess obviously with the rain it's a little bit difficult to film so I guess it's another kind of um not so memorable episode it is memorable to me because i was there and i remember it but maybe for you guys watching it you're just kind of like mm, i don't know i wish i could see the, epi the episodes through your eyes so that i know like how to film better next time or how to edit better next time keep in mind that i'm kind of a baby like travel vlogger at that point <laughs> i didn't really know what i was doing uh it was just all for fun it was to document for myself and then it kind of not blew up but it did get some people interested uh, some Japanese lovers or people who just wanted to know more about what I was doing so 
it did attract some people and then my channel kind of dedicated itself to travel <laughs> japan travels for some reason even though that's not what i started out as anyway thank you all for watching that was the last tokyo episode oh my god of, of this season afterwards i go to osaka in an Airbnb and I have so much to say about that Airbnb and about this transition from Tokyo to Osaka which are like two completely different cities like you feel it immediately I want to talk about that in more detail in the next video I hope you're still enjoying the series there's still like tons of more episodes to go so I do hope that you're still enjoying them it does keep my channel alive for the time being while we wait for something to come along i mean i could still make other videos but i'm just in limbo for everything including my creativity it just feels like everything's on hold and i can't do anything it's, it's this really weird feeling uh, <laughs> that i can't really explain thank you for watching and uh thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing and hanging out with me on social media i love your dms and of course thank you to my patrons i keep forgetting to thank them at the end of videos obviously i thank them with all the rewards and the shout out challenge which is coming up so soon um <laughs> but i want to thank them again for helping me keep afloat during this difficult period of time yeah so see you in the next one a word you all and bye bye